All right, this looks like a good candidate. We'll do this one and then we'll do this, this one, okay? Get ready for the next battle. It's funny, every time I do a viewer replay, the first one is always Reyna. <laughs> and the second one is always Dragonov. But I don't think we have any Dragonovs today. We don't have any Dragonovs today. Unfortunately. I'm tired of just telling people to do the low all day. Hold on, let me turn the hit info off. Alright, overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Right off the bat, you're overthinking it. Just do 4 4 2. And let Jesus take the wheel. And <laughs> that what they say? Oh, what you're doing? You're trying to do every move in the book except for her best move. Overthinking it, my friend. It ain't rocket science. Yep. We're spectating Reyna. Oh, you okay. Hey, look, you tried it. First one, you hit. The thing is, in this rank, at Garyu, people have the mistake of like not knowing that they're supposed to do moves over and over and over. Like, they do a move, and then they'll go to the next move. But the next move is never that first move. In Tekken, you have to do that. If you watch the highest players in the world play, you'll see that a lot. Good. And the more moves you're using, the harder you're making it on yourself to be able to use those moves properly. Because at a lower rank... I had a newer a newer player wouldn't really know how to use all those moves properly so what you're doing is you're just forcing yourself to use these different moves and different strategies but so much is going on you can't understand you can't learn from it so to simplify your game using less moves using the best moves over and over again will help you think while you play it will help you learn faster about the moves that you're supposed to be using Nice tech roll. What do you do here? Throw? Not bad. Try to use her up for it one double break throw. Mm. One one two, you don't wanna actually finish unless you confirm the one one hitting. You can delay one one two, like one one two. It's still gonna work. It's still gonna be guaranteed. So whenever you do one one two, and this is what I mean by slowing things down. By do by doing things and trying to see what happens before you do the next thing instead of just doing something and knowing what you're gonna do next and knowing what you can't know what you're gonna do next without knowing what happens from the first thing that you do right and if you do something knowing what you're gonna do next and what you're gonna do next what you're gonna do next for the most part that's called just autopiloting and not playing reactively Sometimes you know what you're gonna do next after you do something because it's part of your setup, it's part of your mix-up, your trap. That's an acceptable situation. But if you're just stringing stuff together over and over and over again, then you have to just actually slow down and take your time and realize what's hitting. Good defense, holding back, staying patient. Missed the hell sweep there, it's okay. I think you're forcing that move out too much. I think he's tried to do it a couple times already. Like from neutral, if you want to do something, like do down four at one one, or down four at one two, or down four at one, or one one, or four four two. Those moves are much easier to do and they're much faster. By doing that kick full crouch move, you're having to go to crouch, and then you're ha you're leaving yourself really wide open. That's not really a move that you open with and that you're looking for when you're spacing with your opponent. So if you cut that out, you'll win more games, do much better. Tech roll here, all right? Mm. 
That's okay. Use your heat. Use your heat. Oh, you got lucky. Please use your burst. Oh, your mistake. You should have confirmed. See? Now I know you win this game. <laughs> okay, good. Like right around here, you should have already thought about trying to use heat. I'll try if you okay so there are two ways to go to heat right there's through your engagers by doing a move that you land that you already use often and getting heat or if you're unable to land the engagers and the round goes on and on and you're losing too much health trying to look for those engagers at some point you just got to use that burst i would you could use it right here for your plus you can use it right here just to get it and keep your turn you could do it right here if you didn't already whip punish them you can actually punish that you could use it right here if you didn't already punish. So anytime you see a move come out, you just like throw out your burst. But it ultimately you ended up you could you could use it at any point right there. Where you have neutral. You just want to get it out. And you need to know that like it has good range. So even right here, it'll connect. Even though it looks like they have a lot of space between even right here. Unless they backdash, because he already backdashed, he won't backdash again. It'll connect. So he burns, you have to know the range so that you'll be more comfortable using it when you guys even have a lot of distance between you. You'll see people in the higher ranks running up and just doing it, even with space in between the opponent because they know how much range it covers. And with the thing about heat burst, if you're just trying to get it out and activate heat, is that you don't really need to worry about it hitting or not. You're just trying to get it out so you have heat. But at least you remember to use it after you got the wall splat. <laughs> and you got your combo. Heat burst is very important. The next battle. It's very important to do many things. You can keep your combo going. It can defend. It can like stop the opponent's pressure. It can start your own pressure. At the very least, it puts you in the heat state, and you can start using your heat tools. versus a drag that's a lot brother get ready for the next battle Jab, 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 good. That's a one plus two break. Unless they change it so that you can't break it anymore. That should be a one plus two break. See, like if you're doing one, one, you're always trying to check to see if you, you should have let it go right there. But I think you're just so used to doing one, 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 no matter what. That's okay. He uses burst. Round two. Fight. See, that's a sign of. That's just an example of heat burst being good. You can't break it. That break is one plus two. If you get tackled, always mash one plus two as well. If you get tackled. Oh, Mr. Wall standing punish. Well, hers is a little more difficult. Eh, yeah, whatever. You miss a punish, that's your fault. Yeah. When you're doing 1-1, one, one, you have to focus. If the 1-1's one, hit, you have more than enough time to press 2. 
So focus on that when you play. What up, JJ? <laughs> and then you do the one one two when you don't confirm it. So it's just kind of funny. If you turn those tables and you do it the right time. I don't know if you can hold one plus two for tackle situations. I'm actually not sure. Maybe somebody can tell me. Is there a good way to practice hit confirming it? Yeah. I think when you go to defensive training, you can set it to block or not. Random block. You can set up set them to block randomly in practice mode. First hit, random block. Subsequent hits, block all. There you go. jabs a lot which is good but you have to just be sharper with them it's a Mishima character fundamental like Heihachi Kazuya even Devil Jin they all have 1-1 one, one into 1-1-2 one, one, this is chummy on the, uh, the Leroy chummy chum chum on the Leroy uh oh on the demotion So good. Oh, you like that 3 3. He's a he smash. Okay, you, you. You can hold for tackle. Good. Cool. Nice try on a punish. Oh. Oh, you're using that low. I like it. Mm. You could have punished that with the wall setting too and saved your heat. Up to you though. Ooh, tough. Nice. 3-3 three, three is really good. Most of the Leroy's like to save their 3-3 three, three for the end. They don't want to spam it too much so that it gets like it gets red and defended a lot easier because like when you do 3-3 three, three, it's usually a guarantee. So if you're trying to sneak in a low, you should just do down 3-2. Or down back four. Or that down three, that down back three that you like to use. It looks like you're not really using down three four. is playing pretty well. Mm. Try to, if that's a habit of yours, getting up, crouching, blocking, don't do that. Launch punishable? No. Okay. So when you do, if you do that move, 
it's already punishable meaning that you're really really at negative so you shouldn't try to do an attack afterwards it looks like you're trying to do down back three after they block that so again it's the same situation as you could do that low if the kicks hit but if kicks the kicks get blocked you shouldn't try to attack afterwards you should just try to block okay and i would recommend not using that move altogether if you want to use a move that's like good for poking maybe down four one to the one plus two down four one to the pop 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 or you can use one one i like one one but it's a little bit like hard to use because one one if you if you confirm that the one one is counter hit you can go into the full sequence and get a lot of damage but one one just by itself is good because you can practice counter hit fishing with that move and i recommend you using it now because over time you'll get better and better and better at using one one you can do one into one one like if they block the one you can do one one right afterwards and that's kind of like a frame trap because one is plus one and then you do one one and if they try to attack after your block jab the one one will usually catch a counter hit unless the move they do is like a high crusher so you just need to replace that four four that you're doing i want to watch to see if you use it too much but already i think you're using it too much because a decent lead rep wouldn't use it at all basically or you can use um if you need a mid move down forward four three then double knees on a second hit if they kind of hit you if you kind of hit them you get a free follow-up and then if you if they block it it's completely safe so as opposed to four four where they can get a punish and you're more minus you can just do safe moves like down forward four three right kick left kick double knees you know that move right that's a really good move Don't drop the combo. You usually don't drop that combo, right? Tell me you don't usually drop the combo, and if you do, then practice it before you start playing ranked. Don't drop the combo. Hmm. You don't usually drop it. Are you sure? Well, you dropped it here, so. I would recommend that you go and practice your combos as well. Combos should be something that you land and you, you don't drop. Like you need to be 90% of your combos. I think this match, I think you dropped every single combo. So hard to believe that you don't drop combos. You need to be able to land hunt combos 100% because technically when you're playing Tekken and you're trying to get serious with Tekken, they should be the easiest thing in the game for you to do. So if you're playing Tekken and you drop combos in a match, practice combos. Simplify the combos if you need to. Actually, you don't drop this one. You, yeah, you don't drop this one. That move is, that string is not that great either. You'll land it against lower ranks, but you'll see that um, That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Same thing with this move right here. It's hit confirmable, which means you can like watch and focus the game, focus it on the game. And if their move hits, you can follow up with the second part of the string or the second part of the sequence. And if not, then you don't confirm it. So you can visually confirm if your move hits and go to the next move that way. If you can commit to the whole string, it's launch punishable, minus 17, which is a lot. But if you only do the first part and see that they either blocked it or it whiffed, then you don't have to follow up. This string is actually delayable. So that means it gives you time to see what happened and follow through if you can confirm the hit. So, you know, it's something to work on as well. Same thing with the 1-1 one, one to follow through. This move is also hit confirmable. Stop doing unsafe shit. Yeah, yeah. In, in Tekken, you don't want to do unsafe shit in general. Mm, he's going to hit you. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to do unsafe shit generally. When you're looking to attack them out of neutral, definitely you don't want to just open up with unsafe shit. Because when you're playing neutral with your opponent, you know, at a higher level, when you're playing neutral with the opponents, they're, both of you are kind of being defensive. So if they're in defensive state of mind and you do a move that's unsafe, 
they're gonna be defensively ready to punish you more than likely <laughs> that's your favorite move i would have just used heat smash before my or, or or a heat dash but i think it'll be a while before you get to the heat dash You win this one, but you lose the next one. So let's see. Get ready for the next battle. You're mashing out of the shit out of your. It's fine to mash because, in a situation like that where it's so close and the game's up for grabs, literally any hit will do it. The player that's going to be more aggressive is going to win generally. You want to be mashy, mashy, anyways. You avoided the demotion. Nice. You know that you can cancel your stance. Also by pressing three plus four. You know, you can also sidestep or whatever. But you can also press three plus four to cancel the stance. So you don't want to be stuck in that shit for too long. That little string is messing you up. It messed the last guy up too, pretty good. Alright, so also I noticed that um, you don't really go for the heat engager moves. You should mix in... Uh, oh, yeah. Like, if you want moves to just do and replace with the moves that I'm telling you not to do, you should add down 1 plus 2 in. It's probably... It's probably his best heat engaging move. It's a mid... The down punch that's mid... It's got good range. It's fast. Whenever you're like kind of close to them, you can just kind of throw it out. And if you're using the move that I suggested to use, down three, two, that low kick to the high punch, then um, it's a good mix up to use together. But basically what I'm saying is that since you don't use your heat engagers at this moment, I don't know if you write this down. I feel like you should be. Or you can watch the VOD, I guess. Then you should look to use heat burst. You can do heat burst by pressing 2 plus 3, or if you have the default button, so I think it's one of the shoulders. 2 plus 3, the heat burst option. That way, you can activate heat with your character, and then all the little Ip Man punches, they'll do way more chip. You'll have access to heat smash. Overall, you're just going to be a little bit stronger. It looks like you're just trying to fuck them up, which is good. And one thing you're not doing right now is using that heat state. That little blue bar under here, it's like going super saiyan and you can go super saiyan once around if you can go super saiyan once around and be stronger wouldn't you want to go super saiyan every single round heat burst not only will put you in super saiyan mode but it can also be used to get opponents off of you so when you're getting pressure and you're getting fucked up go super saiyan with the heat burst okay Oh, okay. You keep messing up this while standing punish. If you want to practice this, you can go to practice mode and set it to defensive mode and set the computer to doing two moves. A slow mid, a slow low. That way you can start practicing blocking slow lows and then you can also practice blocking the slow low and punishing with while standing too. You're having trouble with doing the while standing move. And what's funny is that when you try to do the while standing move, you do the down jab, and then you see that you fuck up, and then you still try to do the punish anyways. At which point, it's way too late to punish. This will be the second time that you do this. You fucked up the punish into this. So cut that part out of your game, because that move, if blocked, is also really unsafe. If you fuck up the punish, whatever, just go back to fighting. Don't throw this move out out of frustration like fuck this is what i meant to do don't do that that's some noob shit ba -ba 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 -ba. you do that pretty good that's good ba -ba -ba. oh why didn't you do this shit this is what you could have done heat dash bomb Something like that. 
ba 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 oh sorry ba ba ba. if you okay so if you have sorry if you have super saiyan activated you can dash out of your engager moves and that ba 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 is an engager move so after i hold forward out of this shit i can do a full combo ba 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 sorry i fucked the combo you know whatever combo you want to do there you can do this shit that'll kill i'm oh, sorry you can do this shit into rage you can just do this shit into rage without the shit what else is he have? oh this I found. oh i don't know what it is yeah down back one two Bum, 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 bum. You know, some shit. Don't forget the cane. Yeah, don't forget your cane moves. Once per game, you can do the low cane. And then make sure you practice your low cane combo. Not let me do the cane. Okay. <laughs> can do like two two into this shit. That's a simple cane combo, All right? You can do that. So practice your cane combo. The low cane is really good. what I was doing there you just have to block that string if you know he's gonna tackle then like low jab or attack or whatever that's a nice try to punish you're just a little bit late okay you better not drop this combo uh, okay he said he usually don't drop it he said he usually don't drop it nice 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 I like it I like that you're using down back three. If you want other lows that don't commit you into a stance or whatever, down back four is really good. And down back four on counter hit gets you a free follow up as well. And then down three goes to the stance, but uh, it's a little, it works a little differently. So yeah. You at a stage where you're like uh, newer to the game. So if you start experimenting and using these things now, You'll get better and better over time. You might suck with it at first, but you stick with it, you'll get better. Okay, don't drop the combo. Oh, find a different combo. Find a different combo. Ba ba ba. Oops. That's much better. So after you do this, do the double knees. Oops. Do the double knees to down back one plus two. Okay. What's my combo? Oh, oh, oh. My combo is, uh, this down two three two and then two three so do one of those bop, bop. this one's good i like it either one of those okay much more consistent i don't like that string personally
No, he dropped it twice. <laughs> I was like, I thought I just watched that. <laughs> this channel needs noted emote. Oh, that's a good one. I should write them down. I need to have emotes made. This guy, that's all he's got. <laughs> oh, you're not pressing one plus two when you get tackled. If you get tackled, you can break the tackle. Yeah, you're only mashing two. You have to mash one plus two. Anytime you get tackled like that, even the regular tackles the other characters have, it's one plus two. <laughs> all right, Nem, are you still here on the show? You, Nem, Nem, Nem. As you can see, we don't we don't do that. We want you guys to get good. I'll do my best to help you guys get to where you want to get to. If you ever if you're spacing like this and you want them to like back off you and you want them to respect you, who's up? Yo, hey, is it? Thank you for subbing. You can always threaten them. You can always do that. You know what I mean? They'll always like respect you. Or you can just slide on them. Fuck it. Slide covers a lot of ground. So even if you don't have, even if you have no intention on sliding, when you're far away like this, it's always cool to just make them a little bit hesitant, a little bit scared. Duck that. Nice, nice. Uh, hopefully right here you go into crouch and use while standing four or some. After your hammer, if you don't go into crouch and use while standing four, I'm gonna recommend that you do that a little bit more. Cause that's greatly buffed in this game. You can do the easy slide shortcut from there. While setting four, hold forward, then down forward. Cheap. The pull, the, the what, what makes the hammer good is that you can go in the crouch and do while setting four, and that can't be interrupted. on that you did down two three when you do that you're you're panicking one two three is good to get in it looks like you're having a hard time getting in you have a hard time getting in because you get to right here and then you go right back out you get to right here and then you try to go right back out you have to break that plane you have to get a little bit closer you have to get to right here about, about, about that close and then if you want to back and hold back you can see from that range if they panic and throw out a move if not then from that range you can throw out a move you can hammer you can running three like you were doing so I think you're afraid of crossing that line where your moves actually can connect. Because if you get to that little spot, like I said, and he throws out a move, his shit could whip. His shit will whip. And then you'll be in range to punish. But if you don't get that close, he might not be triggered and he might not, uh, you know, he may not be prompted to attack. Because you didn't get to a, a range where he felt like he was in danger. Yeah, he, keep, he opened up with that move a lot. That elbow to the high. 
At this rank, you should be able to duck that and launch it. Should have wall carried. What can you do in this, in this combo? Whoops. What else do you have? Doesn't he have like a high kick? Something that ends in a high kick? Huh. He has like a... I can't think of the move. Three four? No no no. Is it three four? I think it might be four four two three. Oh well, whatever. You can get a wall carry there. I can't think of the move. There's a move where it kicks up in the air. It used to be four four two three, but it's something else now. Or they might just not be in the game anymore. But anyways, not threatening enough with the slide. When you slide, it's been year two for two on the slide. You don't have to slide every time, but pretend like you're gonna slide makes him chill out. Yeah, you, you get to like a range where you back out right away. If you dash in a little bit deeper, you're in range for attacks. 3 for 3 on slides. Since he's using that move a lot, it has good tracking, the, el the elbow to the just frame. If you see him dashing, I just block and, uh, you know, wait and duck. Do my best to duck. But yeah, I would be looking to do... Oh, sorry. I would be looking to do this move a lot more. The thing about it is, you can do... You can dash into it. By forward, forward, and holding the forward, you know, and pressing the one. FPS. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. He's leaving the door open a lot. You wanna like make your shit look like that. 4 1 plus 2 is a huge pressure move. I think I've only seen you doing it once this whole game. And it's because you never got into the range where you could do it. And you never ducked that one time. Definitely looks like a lack of knowledge and experience thing. I don't know if you knew you could duck it. But you definitely could duck it. And Drux, thank you for all the Twitch Primes, y'all. <laughs> thank you for the subs, you. Well, we're 750 now. Let's check out this gin game. Because I'm pretty sure if I watch another Paul game, he's just going to do a bunch of that string. Get ready for the next battle. And you will never, ever duck it. Did you get that uh, ID, Lovely Muffin? Thank you for all the subs today again, y'all. Round one. Fight. You're playing too conservative that game? Yeah, for sure. Try grabbing more as well. Okay, so you don't go into crouching after that move. Always hold down the crouch. Because you could even go make him block it and then go right into sweep. You don't always have to do it while standing four. 
And the fact that the while standing four, so the while standing four is always gonna make him chill, right? That's what allows you to do it over and over and over again. Grab successful. 404, one plus two. They're in guard stun. They don't wanna get counter hit with while standing four. And by the time they realize that you didn't do while standing four, you're already dashing and doing another four, one plus two. Make sense? That's how you like get the vortex started. Bad nunchuck. Bad throw break. Is this my last person for feedback? No, I have like four or five more people to go after this. I have four more after this. Ducking. Also, use your lows. Down back three, down four, three. Don't use that string. Don't use jump guard. At this rank, you shouldn't use it anymore. That's a launch, I wanna say. He used one, two, three to get in, which is good. <laughs> I was wondering if you were gonna do that. You know about that, you know about that. Good. Yeah, usually after that running kick is blocked, you can go straight into the low or do the hammer. Need more hammer. Need more lows. Need more slide presence. Need more throws. Less jump yard. Also, 1 1. You can throw out 1 1 to counter your fish. Not like, not like that. Because when you do 1 1, you'll know whether or not you get a counter hit. So start practicing that. Uh, and then next time. Next time I got you. I don't think there's a Shaheen player either. Uh, Raijin, I only had a chance to accept the subscribers today. Because there were so many people who requested, I had to prioritize some way. So maybe next time if there are a lot of people trying to get in. I only got the subs. So that's Lovely Muffin, Drow, Last Prize, and Quiet Storm. How do you know counter hit 1-1-1 one, one, one with it? Because when you do 1-1, one, one, you'll see the opponent maybe starting up their attack. And if you see your jabs hitting instead of their attack hitting, then that's a counter hit. Counter hit confirm. So that's a perfect opportunity for you to dash up and do the hammer. Sending four and I hold forward, you already in DSS. So that's why, and then from DSS, if you do down forward, you already in slide. So this is another way to up your pressure game. Whenever you do the nunchuck and they tech roll, always get this for free. And if they try to attack, they'll get counter hit. So that's a huge opportunity because I, I can see that situation happening a lot. as well. While setting 4 and Tekken 7, I think you had you could go into DSS, but it wasn't as easy as holding forward. <laughs> you, you killed yourself with that down 2-3, but he let you get away with it. Yep. I hope that helped. My inputs aren't that great when I'm demonstrating because I'm I'm doing them on keyboard. <laughs> but I hope I'm still able to show what I'm trying to show. Okay. After this lovely muffin, we got three more. Oh, Axel is also on the list. 
I'll have time for Axel if you're still around. Are you still around? <laughs> there. You'll be you'll be up in like an hour, or a little bit less than that. That hammer is super strong. You play Nina? Okay. We can watch this one. This is a good candidate. Looks like you guys play some really close matches, but they always he seems to always get the better of you. This Victor player is a good candidate. This is from today, 320, okay. At 5 a.m. <laughs> uh, Victor, what do you want? Anything in particular? Law game? Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Oh, look at like Lee Shao Long. Sorry, I wasn't watching. All right, we got lovely muffin on Nina. Tail break. You should be able to break some one plus two throws at this point. Mm. Just throwing a move out, not good. Don't do that string. You can do down four, one, two as much as you want, but never commit to the third hit unless you have a plan. Like uh, down four one two four is really good because if they block it down four one two and you see they blocked it the four and they try to attack will get counter hit combo. But doing that blom bombshell after you're down four one two is uh, yeah it's just this like if I ask you why you did it, you know your answer wouldn't really make sense. Oh, you go for the hard stuff. If you're dropping this, if you're dropping this, uh. 1 and 5, 1 and 4, or anything around that, just do 4, 4, 3, okay? You're as informational as the Crocodile Hunter. Uh, you know what happens to that guy, right? <laughs> Bad time to attack. Blocking is good. Your mistake this round was, yeah, you took too long to do that. So I, I talk about it all the time is that they built in the heat engage properties of your moves. So running one plus two, like moves that you land with Nina are kind of like a lot of times just naturally going to get you to heat. I will admit, I don't know Nina's every single heat engager. I just know it's running one plus two. I know it's the quarter circle forward two. And I think that's all I know. Mm. So after you knock him down, I don't know why you did that move. That's a big bad. Oh, down back one plus two. Use that a lot, right? Is that the move that you spam a lot to get heat? Yeah. No, that's unsafe. Unsafe. Use it as a punisher. Yeah. Oh, her power crush. When you block slide, Nina has a very easy pickup. Okay. Shaheen and Law, you can do it. It, 
looks like you open up a lot with the back 1-4 with Nina. It's unsafe. It's more used as a punisher and not an opening move. If you need an opening move, try down 4 at 1 2. And then this is new move with Nino forward 4. It's supposed to be good. I don't really know much about it, but if you watch other videos and see players using it. Um, oh, you're holding back and hitting. Okay. If you're holding back and trying to jab and you accidentally do 1 4 and you're doing back 1 4, then. That's a big mistake. You shouldn't really have that mistake at this level. So try to be more crisp when you're transitioning from guarding to attacking. Yeah, it's happened already like th two times, three times. Yeah, it's happening way too much. Hopefully you don't drop this combo. Hopefully you do something really well and it's your combo game. Looks like it. Good. Oh, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Uh, replay key was closed, Ren code. The thing is, I guess it's tough because I don't actually tell you guys when I'm gonna do them. <laughs> so I understand. I think if I told you guys when I'm gonna do them, I'll, the queue would be so much longer. So I guess to reward you guys for being here at the right place at the right time, it's more spontaneous. I don't know if you guys agree with how I'm doing. Is that also like. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're doing it every time. <laughs> you really gotta chill out with that. That's really weird because I have never really seen that. Replaying a lot of reviews, I've never really seen somebody have that problem, you know? Holding back and accidentally doing a back move. Don't drop those combos. The bad news is. You're making a lot of unforced mistakes. You're making a lot of mistakes that you shouldn't be making. And it's not because of the opponent that you're making those mistakes. It's just because of you. The good news is that's really easy to fix because you don't have to learn to match up. You don't have to go to practice mode and you just gotta stop fucking up. And the moment you do that, you'll get a lot better. You also have quarter circle forward three, which is a really good get in move with Nina. It's a really good get in slide. What's done is done. Yeah. Who is this? This is get Muffin. Ready yeah. For the next battle. Also, wipe the floor is great. The thing about Nina is that 1-2 um, and down 4-1-2 are really good pokes. Really, really good pokes with Nina. Because you can do a third hit, you can sometimes crouch dash, you can sidestep afterwards. Oh, sorry. You can do like that. This is down four, one, two, side step one. You can delay the last hit to get that counter hit. You can throw out more uppercuts too. Her uppercuts are safe. You know. But one, two is the same concept. You can do one, two and delay that fourth hit. And that fourth hit, if they, if they block the punches, the fourth hit, that kick is safe first of all. So they need to duck it and punish, which is not easy to do. And if you get, make sure you get yourself uh, a combo for where you land that kick kind of hit. All right. Whatever. So that's her poke game. You do enough of those. And then you make sure you land this because on counter hit, you get a free, you know. That low is great. It gives you advantage on block or sorry, on hit. 
You can check him with more poking afterwards. After landing this, you can check him. Land more pokes. So get that game going. It's the bread and butter of Nina's poking. All right. We need that. And the first thing you should do is stop making that mistake of accidentally doing back one, four. By what time should I know the electric says rain? <laughs> By 8 p.m. is a good fucking answer. There it is again. That kick with law. Well, you see it, you should just punish it. When's he gonna do it? That punish. That's when you should do the back one. Hey, you did down two. That's a good low. She's got a lot of good lows. It's funny because I saw you doing wipe the floor sweep in the first round of the match, but you haven't done it since. Definitely use that. Also, your heat usage, I would rate that as not very good at all because you don't use it. There you go. Okay. No, when you get a running start, always one plus two. Anytime you get a running start on your opponent, always one plus two. All right. That kick kick is only good for a combo ender. One plus two is good because it's faster or same speed. It's mid and it's safe. Not only is it safe, but it's plus, so you get to attack afterwards. Remember, even on with. Oops. You always can pick up. Oh, one thing that you can do with Nina is uh, when you have heat, what's that OP move that she has? Back one plus two, right? Yeah, use that. Yeah, that move is good. Just, just use that before you. Like I said, if you heat burst and then if you if you use your heat smash when your meter's full, you're wasting your meter. And every time you do one of your special moves, you'll spend some of that meter white, you know, in a good way. So use that move if if you don't know how to really use full advantage of your heat. Use that move, and before you run out of meter, use your smash or use your heat dash. That's like a simple, easy to remember way to using heat. Hey, good low. Oh, you keep making that mistake. That's your number one thing you need to fix. Okay. Secondly is your poking game. You got your combos on lock. I trust you when it comes to the combos. Nice throw. Nina has good throws. She has a one break special and a two break special. Don't attack after this situation. Especially at these breaks, most of the time they're just gonna do that and go right into the smash. Just they're also plus one. Don't attack. Even if you want a power crush, don't do it because smash always beats power crush. Cool. Nice. Punish. You can also down forward to them. You don't really use down forward two. So that's something to think about as well. <laughs> yeah. That happens so much.
Yep, good luck. Good luck, good luck with that. I hope it helped. Sorry, I wasn't more helpful. But a lot of the basics. You can eliminate mistakes that you're making and get better really quick. This is uh, Joao on the Victor. Are you still here? Finally, it's your turn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Where do we submit RTs? Uh, no more for today. Sorry. I've been doing them for the last three-ish, almost hours. Thank you, Fallen Phoenix, for the sub. Yeah, I've been doing them for a long time, and I'm a little tired, so... And I want to play Tekken. I'm not really tired. I just want to play. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, watch this one. It's close. And then we'll watch this one. Get ready for the next battle. After this last surprise and quiet storm... Hopefully you guys are still here. Watching Victor. I think it's my first time reviewing Victor. Nice. Good little flow right there. Nice. Good try. Get that heat smash in. Get that heat. Get that heat smash in. <laughs> or that. That's cool. Nice. What are you doing here? Running two. Okay, mixing it up. Mixing it up. Pretty solid. point you did a running and you had a if you have running two always take running two good and right here you stop it right yeah you had a running two there if you have running two always take running two never don't overthink it type of situation Good. Hopefully you kill here. Oh. 
I think it's family. I mean, unless you're getting it whiffed or punished or whatever, unless you get stopped for using it, you're not using it too much. What you're not using too much is down back four. And down two. In order to prevent being too predictable with your power crush, I would mix in some down back four and some down two. Same exact situation. If you're using power crush during neutral and you don't know if they're gonna attack or not, you can use down back four or down two. But if they're attacking you and you use power crush defensively, that's fine. You can do that every time. Sorry. I didn't know you said that. Yeah, I would say you power crush a little bit too much, but you won't get fucked up for doing them. Not for a long time. But if you want to eliminate bad habits or if you want to improve yourself overall and ready yourself for the higher levels, then you can replace them. With down two, down back four. Even down four, you use it once, but you can use it some more. Attack blocked. Don't overstep. Don't attack more. Cause you'll eat the back one. So when you heat engage, that's a good time to sneak in some lows as well. Cause they shouldn't block low right there. They shouldn't. You also um, you pretty much only use your bar on expulsion. He smashes just fine. Like you get two expulsions, and then you have that little bit of bar left. You can fucking get that last little bit out, you know? Okay. I think attacking when you get your stuff blocked is what you got you in trouble right there you are very aggressive which i uh i like that very much but knowing when to chill out get ready for the next battle and knowing what to do especially against steve down back four is perfect because it crushes highs so if you're looking for a move that goes under the jabs you're looking for a move that goes under all the Round stuff that steve one. does that, that's perfect Fight. And then when they when they block running two, if you notice, because you have to pay attention to how they defend you after they block running two. If you're doing down two and then you're doing like one plus two, and you're doing all these things to trap them, but they're not falling for the trap, then that means the lows are open. Yeah, because they're supposed to block. <laughs> it looks like you're using expulsion and you're not really familiar with it. You're just like kind of throwing it out because you need something to do. That's okay. But uh, don't force it. Just make sure you're not forcing it and pay attention to whether or not you get fucked up for it because you are forcing it, I think. At least try to find some traps. I like do a move that they block and they'll attack after, and then do expulsion kind of thing. Round three. What else, suitcase? See, down back four, successful. Good, successful. Successful. 
it's kind of like a fine line, you know. If you use it too much, it gets too easy. To see. <laughs> yeah, you basically just expulsion to death when you have heat. But heat smash is always there, man. It's low. Very good. Consider using heat smash. But you might, you know, you can get one expulsion out. That's cool. Use the heat smash. Need to use heat smash. <laughs> You're also starting to round off every single time with something. You want to start off the round with an attack off less than 50% of the time. Okay. And I would say you're doing it more than 50% of the time. Good. Good. Oh. If you lost Platinum with that move, you can Tornado. Oh, wait. It already Tornadoed. I'm tripping. That time it was a counter hit. So. Yep. My fault. Did you kill them anyways? No. I think if you would have delayed the last hit, you would have killed them. Delaying it is what makes it more damage. So. Yeah. So you made yourself have to work a little hard. Also, when they got a little bit of life left and you want to use a low to kill, I recommend not using the launch launcher one. You have down four to do the same thing. And down four is even faster. You just got lucky that he didn't launch you and recover up all his life after that. Yeah, it looks like your mind is set on using down back four as a low to kill. But down four is a better suited for the job. Well, you're doing really good. You only use down two as part of your traps. Like when they block running two, you can use it by itself. It works really well. By itself, it works really well. Same thing with one plus two. If you need a low as well, I would, uh, and, y and you're far away, you can use four, three, the little stance to get in and do that low one option. That'll make your three option effective in some cases also. Can I watch some of your replays? Uh, I'll have to do it next time. I'm doing these last two and then that's it for the replays. You're supposed to dash up and do forward too. Alright, so I think t I saw twice already that you're using back one. Using this low. Just stick with down back three. Okay, much better. That back one they can react to. There you go. See, much better. Duckable. 
That kick is duckable with Nina. It's a slow overhead left kick that goes to a high. I don't know if she has a mid now or whatever, but yeah. It's okay if you don't know, but now you do. Dying with heat. That's one of my top three no-nos in this game. Whatever level you are. Even if you're a noob and you don't even know what you're doing with heat, you get at least heat burst and heat smash. So, dying with heat. Don't do it again. Slow down them combos. There you go. Wait. Yeah, you started attacking after getting your low blocked. If you just held back, you wouldn't have gotten launched right there. If you get your shit blocked, hold back just in case they mess up the punish, you know? You don't use your Naniwa moves. Like, where's the 4 4 1 plus 2? Where's the running 1 plus 2? They're really good at making comebacks. Okay. You know, you can. Can you tell when you have it in the match, or do you just not even notice that you have it at all? You know, if you see it, if you if you got glowy hands, just tell yourself four four one plus two. Just just do it. Just throw it out. It's good. It's got great great range. Running one plus two has even more range, and it's like huge frame advantage. Nice. Hold back after block down back three. You're doing the Lakari. He burst, he smashed right away. You don't need to. Do that. And then that. Do a low and then that. You know, like don't just run, use it right away. Manage your heat. You know, you got these for free. You might as well. And don't forget that after your heat goes away, you'll still have it. You still have one last one. So, even if those moves didn't land, you see how much white life that did? The chip damage that it dealt, is it adds up a lot, okay? But, at least you didn't die with heat. Just try to manage that if you can. And if you don't if you don't get it right away, that's okay. But that's if it happens where you you keep doing that, just remember me in the background telling you that you can get more out of heat mode than just using burst and smash right away. Oh, oh. oh what the hell is that? That's not guaranteed. Like whatever I tell you guys now, I don't expect you to like, be able to go to go fight your next rank matches and implement everything right away. But as long as you keep making those mistakes over and over again and remembering that you're not supposed to do them, eventually you will get better at it. You're trying to see if she gets up crouches. Yeah, when the when the game is on the line, the round is on the line. Unless it's like earlier in the match, there is no. I'm trying to see something. When it's when the round is on the line, the game is on the round line. Your mentality should be: I'm trying to win this shit. I need to do my best shit right now, and I need to protect myself at all times. Okay? You can try to see some shit if it's earlier in the round, or if it's you know, whatever. No one to take the risks. Sorry, I missed the round.
Good. Oh, 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 bad. All oh, bad. Well, you know what you need. You need a little bit of this shit right here. You need a little bit of that shit. Especially when they're back to the wall, they have nowhere to go. Add this to your game. Okay. I don't think you use it at all. And the more you use it, the more they'll be inclined to duck. And then mixing it up with 1 plus 2 will be perfect. So using Naniwa, especially when you have heat and not just burning it with the smash right away. Using down back 3 more and using less back 1. Using down 1 plus 2 more when the back's to the wall. You could throw a more, a little bit more too. And I can't remember. I think there might have been one more thing that I suggested. Get ready for the next battle. Can't remember. Check this next one out. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This is a perfect spot for the down one plus two. Yeah, you see, you got fucked up for using back one there. But I think down back three would have gotten interrupted as well. But I would eliminate back one. It's like a noob killer, but you get to that point where you're not really playing noobs anymore. Oh, no punish. You definitely should at least punish those big punishable low sweeps. Okay. I won't tell you to punish every single move properly, but like those big low sweeps where you can get a big fat launcher, you gotta get those. Wall saying three. Appreciate the sunny game room. Sunny's game room. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are learning. Even if you don't use these characters, a lot of the things I teach, like using your heat. Not ducking when you wake up, you know, not dropping your combos, using more low pokes. They're all applicable to whatever characters that you guys are playing. Alright. You uh didn't do a good combo here. I like what you are on. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Oh. Something like that. Something. You can still tornado. Yeah, you didn't use your tornado. Your heat dash doesn't count as a tornado. Four, four, one plus two. Naniwa, Naniwa. Them to break the double break because if you grab them with two plus three or one plus four, they could break it with either punch. Yeah, see, oh, you're supposed to just four two there when they're back to the wall. That's a good chance to sneak in that good luck. What you won that round? The fuck. Oh, you lost. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, 
Do I look at my opponent when I'm fighting? Yes, for sure. My opponent and the space in between that turret take notice of. That would be another down one plus two spot. When you get that back to the wall, where you can kind of get aggressive with those moves. And then you don't use her power crush. I know what's that. It'll be a good way to also engage heat state without using heat burst. And you'll have. Did you know that when you use heat burst, the two plus three, you only, you you spend already 33% of your bar basically. But if you use heat engager and you do the run up thingy, you get access to 100% of your bar. And that makes a difference when we're talking about moves that take away chunks of your bar. Is the difference between like having just access to one or two of your super moves before it's gone or having access to like three? But yeah, if you use heat burst, you only get two thirds of your meter, but if you heat engage, you get full. So if you can help it, you always want to engage earlier in the rounds. So you can have heat last for a very, very long time. Sometimes you'll be in trouble and sometimes you won't need 100% of the bar because If you're trying to finish them off with a combo that requires you using heat burst heat dash, then you just use it but Just a thought Getting familiar with using your heat engagers is always a good idea like down two is good down two is a good mix up to down back three and uh, Power crush safe power crush high move. That's also a heat engager that is a rare breed of attack, so you definitely want to take advantage of that move. Yeah, you're slowing down on the down back threes. Yeah, you did the Lakara again. And you're not using lows when they're back to the wall. Not throwing as well? You had him on the defense for a long time. If you have a gust charge and you know your opponent's sidestepping, use running 1 plus 2. Yeah, use the running 1 plus 2 if they're not ducking in general. Like, big frame advantage. 4 4 1 plus 2 actually, like, tornadoes them, I think. So you get a whole combo. So that's something new for you to learn. If you use 1 4 4 1 plus 2 out of gust and you do the combo, it's just, it's just good. At the very worst, they'll block it and you chip them with a nice little chunk. Alright. Yo, 80.